Hey you guys, it's Maggie. Welcome back to another vlog. Welcome to my first vlog of 2022, which is so crazy to say. But Happy New Year, everybody. I hope that you all had a wonderful holiday and are ready to get back into things. I know that I am. After Christmas, New Year's, all of that, I'm just like ready to get into a good routine and start working and getting ready for the new year. So that's exactly what we're going to do today in this vlog. It's going to kind of be like a reset because it is the beginning of the week, first week of the new year. So we're going to get into things and I want to talk about like new year's goals in this video because that's something I have been waiting to talk with you guys about. So we're going to get into that, but I just want to say good morning. I obviously just woke up, put on comfy outfit and made my bed making your bed is like key to starting the day on a good note i swear to you guys i was gonna just get up and bring milo out and not even make my bed but i know that once i came back inside i would have done like a million different things and then walked into my room and my bed still would have been unmade so i took the extra like three minutes and made my bed and it makes all the difference so this is like the key I do this every single morning before I do anything <laughs> good morning fluff someone needs a haircut you getting a haircut soon your hair is getting so long <laughs> guys all the Christmas decorations are gone we took everything down uh, but it feels good to have everything back to normal around here. <laughs> I'm gonna start off the morning with a little smoothie. This is the banana almond smoothie from Daily Harvest. I've been ordering these since the fall and they just make your routine so easy. I think that they're perfect for the new year so it kind of helps you stay on track and always have a yummy, healthy, delicious breakfast on the go. They also have different products but I'm gonna start off with the smoothie and what I love about them is that the ingredient list is right here, big and bolded, right on the packaging so you know exactly what you're getting and they're so simple and easy to make and they're really delicious. And I also have a promo code for you guys that I'm excited to share with you. Daily Harvest smoothies are so easy to make. You just pour the frozen ingredients in your blender and add your liquid of choice. I add almond milk because I like my smoothies to be very creamy. And Daily Harvest makes it easy to eat more fruits and vegetables daily. I love that their food does not contain any gums, preservatives, or artificial anything. You can get over 100 options of their delicious gluten-free and plant-based foods delivered right to your door. They have flexible deliveries so you can add items, change box sizes and selections, or even skip weeks if you need to. Their plans fit your personal lifestyle so you can get weekly or monthly deliveries of 9 to 26 items. You can use my code MAGGIEM for up to $40 off your first box and I will leave a link down below in the description so you guys can check it out. In 2022, I need to find a better place to set my camera up in my bathroom because I am always like down here. <laughs> and there are stuff that I want to show you guys, like skincare and makeup, and it's just like super hard for me to film. So this year, I need to figure that out. Okay, we're going to do my morning skincare routine. I wanted to share some new things that I've been doing and just products that I have been liking. My skin has been really good lately. I do have one pimple because I'm getting my period, but it's just hormonal. It literally happens every single month. So other than that, my skin has been just like feeling so good and so clear and nice and like glowy. So we're going to do skincare routine. Also, I wanted to mention, I get a lot of questions about my esthetician in Boston and just like the skincare that I use. The skincare I use I got from Alexis. I will have her information down below and if you live in Boston and want to do like a consultation with her, she requires a consultation before anything and you don't even need to like go to her and get a facial or get any treatments done to be able to have her look at your skin and give you products. Like you can just book a consultation, meet with her, and she will give you all the skincare products that you need based on the type of skin that you have and based on like your goals. Like everyone is different and she has so many different products. So it's really amazing being able to like meet with her one-on-one. -on -one. 
and she can like look at your skin and tell you what you need. You can buy the products and you don't have to get like facials or anything like that. That's not something that you're into or if you um, just want the products and don't want to spend the money on the treatments. Um, it's really nice. So that is an option as well. I always get like so many questions about just how you work with her and I will have her information so you can do that and then also follow her Instagram and stuff she posts like really informational stuff on her stories as well so I have everything down below okay but for skincare every morning this is the cleanser I've been using it's almost gone it's the Lyra bio enzyme cleanser which I actually need to go get another towel I just put all my towels in the wash I'm gonna go grab a face cloth I'll be right back okay I'm back so I use this cleanser every morning and then for my routine I like to do my serums which this one is from Alexis the Mandel active gel and then I also have this skin better science Alto defense serum this is like a vitamin C but before I put anything on my face I've been loving the mask spotless serum I just opened up a brand new bottle this is one of my favorite serums. I love this and then also for a hyaluronic acid option, we have the Aloe Tiva Serum, which is amazing. Seven different types of hyaluronic acid in this. It's so good for your skin. It gets rid of like any redness and really calms your skin, like the inflammation and stuff like that. And then we have Moisturizer, Ulta MD Barrier Renewal Cream, and Sunscreen, Ulta MD UV Clear sunscreen so this is what i use oh and we cannot forget laneige lip mask so the order i use it in i will do cleanse mask serum this serum right here this one and then i'll do moisturizer sunscreen and something that i've been doing the past few days which i swear has made a difference in my skin already is using my gua sha this is a stainless one right here. And I've been wanting to start using a gua sha for the longest time. Like I see videos all over TikTok and I'm just so into it. So I've been practicing these past few days and I am obsessed. I like swear I can already see results and it hasn't even been a week yet. So I always do it. I mean, usually I do it at night. I have this face oil that I actually got in like a PR. It's a Fortuna skin oil. I don't know if it's like good for your skin. Alexis usually said, tells me not to use oils, but I just feel like at night it just glides really nicely on my skin when I have um, the oil, but you can use serum as well. So I like to just do my morning serums. And then I will do a little gua sha. And this is something that I really have been wanting to keep up with in the new year. Like I just am so excited to see the results from doing it for a long time. So anyway, this is what I've been doing. And as I gua sha, we can talk a little bit about the new year because I, wait, I feel like I'm, I'm gonna do this really fast and I'll be right back. I feel like I wanna like talk to you guys as I do this, but I'm such a bad like multitasker. Okay, <laughs> we're done. So I don't even know where to start. With the new year, I feel like the day, New Year's Day and the day before, I feel like you just see so many people talking about like their goals and resolutions and just like they have their whole entire year planned and I feel like at least for me I felt so rushed this year but I just wanted to say if you feel the same way it's totally normal and I think that we should all be thinking about our goals for 2022 and just like planning for the whole entire month of January like I don't think it's something that you need to have done on January 1st or else like it nothing is going to happen for you and you're going to have no progress like i really think that you need to think hard about these things and like think about what you want like your goals and 
your visions and like pray and just be present and come up with like action plans on how you're going to achieve these goals because nothing's like going to happen overnight and just because you put a few things on like a vision board doesn't mean that it's just going to like poof into existence. I just feel like everything in life comes with like hard work and determination. So it's not something that you can just like slap on a mood board and then all of a sudden your year is going to go like that or it's going to be like the end of the year and you're going to look back and be like, well, none of this happened. But like, did you put in the effort? Did you actually like think about ways that you want to achieve these goals and like actually put the work in towards it? So I just think that that's something that, oh, <laughs> what is wrong with me today? That's something that I am doing. I'm using the whole month of January to like set a foundation for the year and I'm going to be like showing a lot of my new routines and stuff in my videos because I've been kind of reflecting and um, definitely there are some new habits that I want to start obviously like my gua sha moment but there are also some old habits things that I used to do that I stopped doing that I'm gonna continue um, like start back up again and start doing in the new year like the first thing is is that i'm gonna start reading <laughs> i'm gonna start reading more books again and i started off 2021 i literally was reading a book a week like i was flying through books and then i just feel like summer happened and it just got really busy and i stopped reading as much um but i started a book last night and i started a goodreads account because i talked about I think books in during vlogmas sometime and one of you guys was like maggie do you have a good reads account because we can all follow each other i guess on it i don't know how to find my account name um but i know that you can follow other people and see like what books they recommend and have like a list of books that you have read and uh, books that you're reading and stuff like that so i feel like it might be fun honestly to start a little like book club with you guys because reading really does make me feel so much better it really calms me down and it's a nice way to unwind at night and like get off your phone and get ready for bed and also i just feel like way more present and like smarter when i read rather than sit on my phone which is like an obvious so that is something else i wanted to talk to you guys about Okay, so skincare is done. We are ready for the day. I wonder what I'm gonna get at you today. I'm gonna ask Emma if she wants to go run some errands with me because I really need to get my eyebrows done. It's been forever and I need to clean out my car. I actually have a surprise coming for you guys in these next couple of weeks. I'm gonna have a surprise in the vlogs. So. Stay tuned for that. That is all I'm going to say right now. But I'm really excited for 2022 and like everything coming and just like a new year, a fresh start, clean slate. I just love it. So I'm excited. But yeah. Wow. The weather today, you guys just took such a turn. It's like raining now and it was so sunny like earlier this morning. It's afternoon. I think there's supposed to be a snowstorm coming to Boston, Emma said, later in the week. And I'm actually really excited because I have not seen any snow all year. And I've just been, like, waiting. Waiting for the snow. I want it to be, like, cold and snowy. And, like, I just love it when it's, like, the first snow. And we haven't really had snow in Boston this year. So, I don't know what's up with the weather right now but it's raining and I need to head out I'm going to like five different post office well not five but three different post office right now USPS FedEx and UPS because I have so many boxes in my back seat you probably can't see but I have so many boxes of stuff I've bought over the past like month and it's just sitting in my car taking up so much room and i need to go return everything but it's like all of the places where everything needs to be returned like there's different ones all over town so 
I just need to drive to each one of them, drop the stuff off and like get it out of my car because it's taking up so much space. It's been stressing me out. So that's what we're doing right now. And uh, it's just boring. Like that's the reality of it today. There's not much going on, not much to do after the holidays. So I just feel like that's it for me right now. But that's what I'm gonna go do run some errands and I was talking to Jess on FaceTime earlier this morning and I was just like trying to explain to her well we were talking about how difficult like little tasks like this are when you live in a city and I am not complaining at all like I am so grateful to live in Boston and all of that but it's just like oh little tasks that are so normal and easy to do when you're outside the city like in the suburbs are just so much harder because it just takes so long to get everywhere when you're like driving around because of the traffic and um everything's in like different areas so that's that and then here i am on the other hand i'm like my glasses are fogged and then there's just also a part of me that like wants to move out of boston and don't get me wrong i love it but I just feel like I've only ever lived here my whole entire life. Like I went to school in Massachusetts and I don't know, for some reason I just feel like my time in Boston is done. So I'm just so confused because part of me wants to move <laughs> to Florida because I just think the quality of life would be so different than it is here. It's warm all the time, vitamin D, get to be by the ocean. Also, it's only like a two and a half hour flight from home, so it's super easy to just hop on a JetBlue flight and fly back to Boston to see family. During the holidays and stuff, it's not like I would be all the way across the country, like in California, which I have never had any desire to move to California. I just feel like it's super far. Like I know you can also get warm weather over there, but I'm such an East Coast girl. And I just feel like Florida would be so fun. I love going to Miami and I don't know. I feel like that would be definitely like a nice change of scenery. Milo and I could like go on walks more, like be outside. And obviously it's just like warm there <laughs> all the time. So, so there's Florida and also Chicago. I am like on Chicago TikTok and I have so many videos that always come up of like these beautiful apartments right on the river. And I'm just like, oh, I wanna move to Chicago so bad, I love it. I went three times this past summer. I'm like so in love with it. It reminds me of like a mix between Boston and New York. Like it's not as big as New York, but it's not as small as Boston. It's super clean. It's just like the cutest little city and I'm in love with it. But also the weather is the same, if not like worse than it is in Boston. But still, I really love it. So I don't know, I just like wanna move somewhere <laughs> other than Boston. And um, we will see. Like my lease is up in June for the apartment that we have here. So it's just like, I don't know. I really have no idea where I'm gonna end up after that. But anyway, that's my rant. I'm gonna go run into uh, FedEx and drop this stuff off. Hi Milo. I'm making a little dinner. Right now I just cut up two bell peppers. We have a red one, an orange one, and then an onion, some broccoli, and I have a pot of water boiling, some mushrooms cooking up in my wok pan, and then some snow peas. So I'm making homemade Thai food for dinner tonight, and I am gonna be using these pad thai noodles right here that I just got from Whole Foods. They're rice noodles. They're so good and I'm gonna make a little homemade sauce to go on it. Okay, for the sauce, we're gonna be using liquid aminos. I'm gonna do five tablespoons of this. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of maple syrup. And then one tablespoon of this yellow bird sriracha, which in my opinion is the best brand i think it's so good i love oh i love the ingredients it just squirted everywhere so i do one i'm gonna add a little bit more because i do like spice okay and then we're just gonna whisk all of this together 
I added the cooked noodles into the veggies and I added the sauce all in the pan super simple and easy this literally took probably like 15 minutes <laughs> and you can add protein if you'd like it'd be really good with like chicken or something like that even chicken or shrimp I feel like would be the best mm -hmm. 